Thank you for being here today. We are going to spend several days, I don't know how many because I don't know how long it's going to take to get through all of this. What we're trying to decide here from scripture is the devil and Satan, is that the same as the dragon and the antichrist? Because we wanna know how many end time players are there. I can tell you there are at least 15 bad end time players. And we're gonna go through this. Um, in the green at the very top, I just wrote that I did some videos from 1126 to 124 on beast one, beast two, descriptions, properties, etc. of the beast, the image of the beast, the false prophet, antichrist, etc. This particular set is to determine if the devil and Satan, is that the, is that the same as the dragon? Is that the same as the antichrist? Because we want to know this, so we'll be, we will be focusing just on verses from Revelation because we're looking at the end time players. So we know for certain that there is a first beast. He is the one with the death blow that appears but does not die. That beast rises out of the sea. I should say his death blow is healed. Let me phrase it that way. Um, that is Revelation 13 verses one through 10. We know there is a second beast. He rises out of the earth. That is Revelation 13 verses 11 through 18. This is all the blue section. Then we know there is an image of the beast one that is forced to be made and that image is given breath and that's Revelation 13 verses 14 and 15. So there there's three. There's beast one, beast two, and the image of the beast. Then we know there is a false prophet. So is the false prophet, is that anyway the beast? Well, it isn't because it tells us in Revelation 19 verse 20 that the false prophet and the beast are captured. So the false prophet is not the beast. So there's person number four. Then we have the 10 kings from Revelation 17 verse 12, and they get authority with the beast. So we know that we have 10 kings plus plus beast one, beast two, the image of the beast one, and the false prophet. And then we have the devil and Satan. So the whole purpose is to determine is the devil and Satan, is that the same as the dragon? Is that the same as the antichrist? So then as I was doing research, I got to wonder is the devil even equal to Satan? Are they even the same entity? Because the interesting thing is that the term devil is only in the New Testament. I did not know that until I started putting this together for all of you. And this is why I love doing research because I still learn things. I still will be learning things until the day I take my last breath, hopefully. So I didn't know that. And maybe you knew that. I did not know that. The term Satan, then of course I had to look it up so it's on a little bit of a bunny trail. Satan is in both Old and New Testament. The term devils is Old and New Testament, but the term Satan's is New Testament only. So that kind of got me wondering, maybe the devil and Satan, you know, we use those terms interchangeably, maybe, maybe they're not the same. Because as I want the truth, if I've been taught in errant, then I want to know the truth. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these New Testament revelation verses for the devil, the devil, Satan, and Satan's. And you can see I have the verses listed there. This is all the red portion. And I have what they are in the Greek and the Hebrew. And we're going to look at those. And we're going to determine, do we believe from what scripture says is the devil and Satan the same entity, the same person, the same being, etc. So that's what we're going to look at. So we're going to start that in our next video, and then we're going to move on to do the dragon and the Antichrist. So you might be surprised by the things that we find. You might be surprised by the things that we don't find. Um, we're just using scripture and the concordance. And so let's get into this and see what we can ascertain from our scriptures. So Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.